Here's Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk. The Ogle County Fair was a wonderful place for a nine-year-old boy and his dad to spend a lazy afternoon with the Ferris wheel, the 4-H displays, and the cotton candy. My good friend Dean Merrill was that excited nine-year-old. Dean tells about one particular afternoon at the fair when his dad's example spoke louder than any lecture. They had saved the best until last, watching horses race at the big dirt oval. So the two stood in the open grass outside the far end of the track as the harness races began. Three horses jockeyed for position as they came around the final turn. Suddenly, Dean's dad jerked his sleeve and snapped, come on, we're leaving. As they walked toward their old sedan, the older man said, that fellow's been beating that horse since way back on the straightaway. And the horse was already giving him everything he had. I won't stand by and watch. It's not right. It's been more than 40 years since that afternoon at the fair, yet Dean still remembers the lesson he learned that day from his father, that it's not right to abuse an animal for any reason. In a similar manner, our children, yours and mine, are also picking up attitudes and values that occur in the routine experiences of everyday living. And most of this teaching is done with very few words. Just remember this, your kids are watching you every minute and much of what they see will be remembered for a lifetime. Dr. James Dobson with Family Talk.